That's what he does. That's all he does. Clovis is the only one who knows how to reintegrate Rasputin with his submines. Did he tell you how? Or is he just dangling it in front of you so that you keep him around? I remember a dinner that ended like this. Elizabeth, you haven't changed a day. Are you sure he has what you need? I haven't verified. But he... But he's the only hope left. As much as you'd like to deny it, Elizabeth, I'm the best you've got. Go to hell. I'm here now. We should talk more, later, without him around. I'm sorry you had to see that. They've always been very emotional. Why don't we get down to business? I have found a solution to our sub-mind problem. Your arrogant friend, Osiris, informed me of the time wounds on Mars. Windows into the past, worlds lost to time. And it so happens that Rasputin's mind lab is situated within such a temporal anomaly. Scans indicate that the Charlemagne sub-mind data still exists within the wound's projected time period. Copying it into the engram will provide code fragments we need to restore Rasputin. Go retrieve additional sub-mind data. Then return to the Seraph facility. I will guide you to the location of the new launch codes upon your arrival. Elsie, good to have you with us. Give us the rundown. Likewise. Mara tells us the Witnesses' soldiers focus on Mars and threaten the sub-mind Charlemagne. So we kill them and take Charlemagne. Is it any more complicated than that? Why are you here? To oversee my project. Our project. Then fall in line. Anna, it's your command. By all means. You're in the thick, Guardian. Hive, taken. Pretty sure they know you're coming now. Then there's no time to waste. The Warmind's entire network architecture is exquisitely preserved. I'm surprised, Anastasia. in the armory stock. Ooh. One high-powered laser requisitioned and delivered. God, be careful with that. Heat signatures converging on your position. Allow me to get the door. What is this? Who rewrote these commands? I did. And then the hive did, apparently. Sit tight. What a fully operational war mind could do in this day and age. In the wrong hands, it would be catastrophic. And I have every reason to believe we will prevent that eventuality. 
Perimeter towers in range. Stay hidden, Guardian. Hang on, Jinju. We're in for some chop. With proper oversight, our oversight, this place could be the new seat of humanity's power. Rasputin can make his own decisions. He learned to trust when we trusted him. It's not anyone's right to control him. Elizabeth, consider this. A weapon to end every dark future before it begins. Or to usher in a thousand others. My granddaughters. If you don't claim power, someone else will. Moving back to a holding pattern. Good luck. This is where Charlemagne sleeps. Beautiful, isn't it? It's a step in the right direction. Wait. Wrathborn reinforcements are converging on the future scape. How long do we have? Minutes. Maybe less. Not enough to hack the vault. But I can snag some more lasers. Those have significant yield, Anastasia. These instruments are delicate. Any damage... To hell with your precious facility! Guardian, cut your way in! So this is what the Hive were trying. Details later. Patch me in. I'll start the core transfer and seal the doors behind you. This night attacked the Dreaming City when it harbored Savathun. He is one of Devi's most trusted. Good! His death will send a poignant message. Seated and locked. Fire team clear for extraction. What were they doing here with all of this ceremonial paraphernalia? I've seen this before. A possession to install a hive soul in place of the Warmind's AI. The Elixni believe machines have spirits. Red certainly feels alive. Ridiculous. You're one to talk. We are not a clever sequence of logic, Elizabeth. Our minds are human. Well, hers is. Our victory here is short-lived. Zivu's Wrathborn are converging upon you through the Ascendant Plane. You are advised to extract quickly. What is this Ascendant Plane? A realm that shadows our own. I do not have the time or the patience to explain it to you. Then I haven't the same to listen. Absent for hundreds of years and still gripping on to smug superiority. As if the world could never advance beyond you. I doubt your ego would allow the capability to listen. I've rerouted power to the launch security systems. We are clear to commence today's operation. Gain access to the facility and secure the launch codes. One snag. Looks like the Hive have sealed the bunker entrance we used last time. Head to the launch facility roof. We should be able to make an entrance up there.
Ground Fed connects to the bunker. Blast it off and head in. using crystals to maintain their barriers. Take them out. Crystals? Rituals? <laughs> this is absurd. That's obviously an emitted Casimir field with- I muted, Grandpa. You're welcome. I detect no changes to the underlying system architecture. I've secured the launch authorization codes, but it appears they are encrypted. This encryption method is superb. I uh, will need time to fully decrypt them. Any launch will need to wait. Got it. In the meantime, I'll ping some of the old decommissioned bunkers here to cover our tracks, because I just got word that there's a catch inbound. We don't want to still be here when it lands.
first fragments are bonding to Red's code nicely. The plan's risky, but... I'll be damned. Clovis wasn't lying. When I first woke up, I wasn't lost. I was wayward in the best way. Just my ghost and a name on a badge. I imagined us braze using reason to find right. Lone lights exploring the vast frontier, you know? I was proud of that fantasy. I modeled myself after it. Fantasies, all it was, obviously. I mean, you've met Clovis. He's a walking, talking embodiment of necessary evil. I miss Risk being a dark cave in the wilderness. Danger? Or golden age tech? Balancing that tipping point was straightforward. Now it's less defined. And Risk is measured in the inches before Clovis's knife finds my back. I know it's coming, eventually. But if it means getting Red back, I'll manage the risk. Not only did Rasputin change the launch codes, but it encrypted the new ones as well. Impressive. One can never be too cautious when keeping secrets. Some information is far too dangerous to remain freely accessible. I've hidden many things from my family, for their own sake. I can appreciate Rasputin's decision to do so as well. But that does not change our objective. We must wrest control of the Warsats for the good of humanity. I will begin decrypting the launch codes to the orbital station. Continue gathering submine data and reintegrating it into the Engram. When the time comes, Rasputin will be made to listen to us, regardless of the secrets it keeps. a dedicated sister. Anna's known you for far less. You remember your childhood, the bonds you formed, the trust you built together. She doesn't have that. Anna can't understand the depth of your love or the guilt you carry for your missteps. All she knows is what's in front of her, and that kills you, little by little. You gaze at her and a ghost gazes back. A ghost you desperately want to save. That's the point, isn't it? You have to let people choose for themselves, or you risk driving them down an even darker path than the one you want to steer them from. And we both know how that ends. Don't we? 